So recently I made this like solar powered box thing, but unfortunately it's um a little too big for travel. It has a lot of cool stuff in it, like check this out. Ooh, 12 volts, I can turn that on and off. I can turn on the AC power, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm charging stuff. Not my toothbrush, that's just there. And there's also like chargers for like other stuff. But this is completely nonsensical for what I want because I mean look how big this thing is for my car. But it's solar powered, so I'm gonna make a new one that's like a lot smaller. So um Cool.
Oh wait, I'm forgetting something. I made this thing. Yay, I made the Oshkosh. But um, more on this thing tomorrow. I'm gonna eat my food first and we'll cover the topic. So you really don't take much to the field anymore. Yeah, I just take my solar panel, my battery, this thing, and the charger. Take two. I'm gonna charge my batteries. It's not too bad of a inconvenient setup. Just have you know this thing. I I, I go from uh, was the AC to DC to D to um, AC to DC again. Yeah, this is technically not really right. I mean, I really just plug this here and charge it. But whatever, it works. AC is pretty sweet. It's nice to have that. It's a it's a pure sine wave inverter, so I can charge sensitive electro or run sensitive electronics with it, which is really nice. Versus those square wave ones, you get a Harbor Freight, which are kind of cheaper. I guess it does actually work pretty well. I mean, it is nice to have solar panel, uh, solar panel and solar stuff that you can take to the field. I mean, this probably could be tied up like the first one, which everything fits together, but it's really heavy and inconvenient to haul around. Plus, I'm gonna actually work on getting some batteries in here in the future. And also, it is a little bit of a rat's nest of a wiring job in there. I'm not super happy and super proud about that, but it was a three-day rush build, so I'll probably clean this thing up later on in a different date. But hey, it's pretty nice for a sort of, you know, quickly planned out video. As far as anything technical in here, Basically, there's a, a PWM solar controller. It's really cheap. I mean, you can probably get those for like 20 or 30 bucks. All right, so that works. There's a sine wave inverter in there. I already mentioned something about that. I'll leave a link to below where you can get one of those. It has two 12 volt outlets, and this is like hard, hard wired directly to the um, fuse. So that's not actually controlled by any switches. It's just master on and off to do all that stuff. And unfortunately, I was charging something, but I'm not anymore. Uh, I think that's it. It's a fun project. I really enjoyed this one because, you know, I haven't really done too many woodworking projects recently. So it's always nice to sit down and do one of these. Uh, there's a lot more interesting stuff coming in the next week to month. Because that's a 1-6 scale model uh, of a test subject of something that will probably be being built as we speak. So this video is a little short. A lot more stuff is coming through the pipe next week and hopefully I live to tell the tale through all of it. But uh, yeah, be sure to like, subscribe. Um, Huge thank you to my Patreon supporters too. I, I haven't really mentioned you guys too much, but I've seriously been able to total up on this money and purchase like all the stuff to start the actual build for whatever that is over there. But more on that later. Uh, yeah, subscribe, like, do whatever, and I will see you guys next week. Amped up about this project. Oh, really?